since 2006. He was chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee from 2013. The rhetoric towards the EU has turned a little bit more negative. And we hear things such as... From what I have seen, Europe is clearly concerned about foreign fighters returning and the consequences of that, and they have uh, in various ways sought to, uh, sought to deal with it. Uh, I, I think at the end of the day, uh, if, if we have someone who we have well established under law as someone who is an ISIS fighter, then we should be able to prosecute them whether at home or abroad. Well, look, I, I hope we don't continue down a, a path uh, to a tariff war. If, if he expands it to European cars, then obviously the European Union will probably slap an equivalent amount in dollars, uh, I mean in euro consequences to the United States. This doesn't ultimately achieve our goals. Now, having said that, there's some real challenges in our, in our trade, uh, and we have to work those challenges out. There is a reality that uh, there are non-tariff barriers in the European Union developed through regulation and other laws that we, that we need to have an honest conversation and a pathway forward. All, all we seek is a free and fair level playing field. Uh